Yeah, buddy, I gotta tell you. First annual Southern Bushcrafters Rendezvous. I tell you what, if I didn't know better, I'd say I came away feeling like a new man. Hello, campers and bushcrafters. I'm Donnie Pavlini with Donnie Pavlini Outdoors. Sitting here thinking about the big meetup that we had in Morton. The dust has settled and uh, had a chance to think about things, reminisce a little bit. Actually, for me today, I've been avoiding making this video, sort of, because all I had are little clips and snippets and things like that I didn't want to film. But, uh, I, you know, this morning, my tent was pitched, and I rolled over and felt this a sharp pain. And so I jogged on into uh, the throne room and uh, when things were calming down, you know, I, I, it just, I was thinking, boy, I sure wish I was back in the woods. And then I got to thinking about the rendezvous and the great memories that I made. And, and I'll tell you what, I'm going to share some of them with you in the form of little video clips and things like that. And so if you didn't get to go, sorry you missed it. It was an incredible time. So sit tight, let's take a look at a few things. Chair. Okay. <laughs> and I, we stood by to make sure it didn't come up missing. That's how good I am. I, I knew I gave it a thumb. So the raw footage is just like that. Uh, okay, a lot of crazy lights. What they do is they go into the saturation and in the contrast with the color correction. And then they say, okay, in this setting, we have a lot of blue and yellow. Mark so with scouting the free, and the yellow, so it's all giving blue, yellow, yellow, a yellow. little they seminar green, about video editing. Then you suddenly got this wonderful colors where you always think, oh my God, I mean, it looks like in a... Very excited that he's here. Exactly, exactly. Speaking with... Chris with Wyndham Woodcraft and others. This has been my home for the last three days and it has been so sweet. It has been awesome. Got the Eno hammock. A little bit of bushcraft, a little bit of glamping, it's been great. My buddy Mike crashed bushcraft, got his set up, got it going on. He's a fantastic breakfast chef, but he burns biscuits. If I didn't stop him, we might have been killed. My good friend Stanley with Deep South Experience. Flying the Union Jack in appreciation to our British bushcrafting friends. Wind's kind of taking its toll on it here. We got a little bit of breezes. And we got these two renegades, Mr. Drew Roberts and the lovely and talented Mr. Grumpy Guy, wearing some of Drew's handiwork. Drew did the uh, the printing for our event t-shirts and uh, we're very appreciative of him and Drew is one hell of a bushcrafter in his own right and uh, I really hope I can coax him when he gets a chance to show what he's got with his bushcraft skills and knowledge he really likes archery and built an orange Osage bow that's just phenomenal he's an all-around good guy and we're very glad that he joined us today and this will be the abode of my Dear friend Mark D. Chandler, amateur artist Mark D. Chandler, better known as Mainland, Mainland, better known as Manland. He's the main man from Manland, Mark D. Chandler. Him and the fam are going to stay here tonight, and we look forward to a lot of good things that, as he always does, he's going to bring to the table. Give you a little shot of Miss Sue Bible and family. Part of the family anyway. 
We are extremely happy that they graced us today. They have been a real shot in the arm for the morale of everybody here. It's a beautiful thing, the spirit of camaraderie, sharing, and learning. Strike it with pretty good force. Yeah. Like you to keep it off the chin. Yeah. Just think of it as you're trying to knock metal off that stick because that's what you're doing. And you're getting sparks. They just got to get there. Hard. Yeah. 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 There you go. There we go. Very first time with that technique. Well, now you good. see the difference. But I mean, big, I, big difference. Yeah, I'm, it's it's oh. easier to learn doing it this way You'll than it. With, yep, it's, it's going to go out in a minute. The char cloth, if I had one or two pieces, it's gone. You're right. I mean, and that's, I'd that's have right. To sit down and char more cloth. Yep. Mm -hmm. So that's why I like. This. I actually do like that technique a lot, lot, lot better. And I mean, it makes sense. Definitely. Can I use your bike again? <laughs> It's tough. This is that you when you start doing this stuff, you realize why some of the stuff's expensive. Leather work. But I come in like that, I find my third hole and then push it through. And you even up and then you pull your needle out. <laughs> Did you make it from scratch? I've mentioned the 90 degree spine. Take the camera off. Show him the 90 degree spine in the camera. Mm -hmm. And while you're talking, you just take that footage right over where you say it has a 90 degree spine. Ah. Close up. Yes. Yes. That's a lot more interesting. Yeah. You know, you got one of them raw hide dog bones? Drew Roberts and Mike Ware looking at Drew's. Rawhide backed orange Osage bow. He made the bow, made the string. And it's an awesome bow. It's so much easier. I got Goodwill. Hey everybody, there's Mike Ware, Crash Bushcraft, doing what he does best. Not making breakfast. Awesome. Now you did it. Rock and roll. But if you'll take those and spread it on the I didn't want to get away from the feet. You want to spread more than this. <laughs> you have been sabotaged, Donnie. Teach you to leave your camera out laying around doing nothing. Anyway, I would just like to say that I had a great time out here with you. It was very interesting. I like being around you. We'll get to do this again. So thanks for the invite, everybody, and we'll catch you the next time on Dottie Pavolini Outdoor. Or Pavoloni. Pa oh, it's got an IE, so it's Pavolini. Jason with Parker Ridge. Stanley, Deep South Experience. And yours truly. All of us feel the same way. We had a blast. It was uh, a life-changing experience for me. Sorry about the lack of video. Uh, a lot of folks said, you know, Donnie, you know, film it any chance you get. But the truth is, we were all out there 
and just so engrossed and enamored with everybody and everything that was going on that uh, a lot of people just didn't get a lot of video. We just didn't. It was it was just an experience where you get out and you see all of these people that you look up to and enjoy uh, that, that do interesting things and you're interested in the same things and and it literally was like a huge a huge but it literally was like a family reunion the people everybody that I saw whatever the good qualities they have on YouTube on their channel all that was simply magnified meeting them in person people are incredible uh, and I'm just going to throw some names out, and, and I've, I've just got to tell you, uh, I, I appreciate them. Uh, uh, Jason Degnan, um, or Jason LaGreco, sorry, Jason LaGreco, sorry, uh, came uh, up from Alabama. Uh, we had uh, Susan uh, with uh, Survival Series. She was great. Um, Ranger Kooky. I didn't have a chance to video you, buddy, because... I didn't start my video until Saturday afternoon. Uh, of course, like I said, Parker Ridge and Deep South Experience. Um, we had Brian Knapp, Mike Ware, Drew Roberts, Manland Mark. We had, um, of course, of course, we had Chris with um, Wyndham uh, Woodcraft. And he, I had the unique experience of having a cup of chaga tea with Chris with Wyndham Woodcraft. And it was such a pleasure to meet and talk to him face to face. It has been something I've wanted to do for a long time. You know, you watch these people and say, man, you know, if I ever get a chance to meet this guy, man, I'd really like to get to know this person better and just chew the fat with him. And the same could be said for uh, my German friend, uh, Mark with Scouting Free. Man, it was my honor and privilege to meet and speak with you, sir. Uh, just so many others. Um, Mutt from North Carolina. Man, it was a pleasure meeting you, brother. You are an inspiration and one of the toughest fellows I've ever met. I just got to tell you. And uh, Grumpy Guy and Miss Grumpy, it was a pleasure meeting you. I hope that I get to see each and every one of you, and I'm so sorry if I miss anybody. I sure don't mean to, but I hope I get a chance to see all you guys next year and all of those out there. The invitation is open. The invitation is being give, issued out right now. Come down. Come on down to the south, to the deep south, and come down to, I guess, what will be the second annual Bushcrafters gathering or experience or whatever it is it's going to be our event number two so that being said oh got a gerber bear grills knife and i gotta tell you it's it gets mixed reviews but it's not a bad knife it's a good knife man uh i like it a lot it's kind of pricey uh, uh, but man it's not a bad knife i've enjoyed it so Thank you guys for joining me, taking a look at what happened down at the VU, at the Rendezvous, and hopefully next year we can rendezvous with each and every one of you down here in the Deep South. So folks, next year, come on down to the Deep South. It'll make a new man out of you. I think you'll enjoy it. Donnie Pavlini Outdoors, we'll see you in the woods. Take care.